This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the new Arcos 5 Internet Tablet and Media Player. It's a beautiful design. It's got a 4.8 inch display and a smoke bronze metallic finish that's really pretty but shows fingerprints like nothing else. Very thin. This is the 60 gig player, which is a half inch thick. The 120 and 250 gig models are three quarters of an inch thick. These are the proprietary sync, charge, DVR, you name it, all Arcos accessories plug into their connectors. And this is a little pop-out stand here. I'll show you the back. That comes out. So you can prop it up on the table. It's got a lot of weight to it, so it's nice to be able to prop it up on a table. The back side of the device, the battery is under here. This is not a user replaceable battery, that is, there's no latch to pop out the battery. And there wasn't one on the Arco 605 either. The section here is made of plastic. It's one of the few safe places to touch without leaving fingerprints. This is the speaker. And up top here we have hardware volume controls. There are also on screen volume controls and the power button. And on the left side we have the standard 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack. Unlike the Arco 605, which had a, a hybrid touchscreen and button control interface that could be a little bit confusing, the Arco 5 has a touchscreen. Everything is operated by the touchscreen, and this is the first Arco we can say is actually really fun and easy to use. Everything is here in the main menus from playing a variety of video formats to playing and recording TV, accessing the internet, a variety of media that Arcos offers, your tools for changing various settings, and then there are add-ons because you can add on plugins and widgets to extend the functionality of the device. We'll take a look at video playback first. This is an 800 by 480 pixel display and it's really one of the most stunning we've ever seen. It makes video playback just lovely. It automatically updates after you copy new content to the device. You can copy just using it as a USB mass storage device, or you can sync it to a Windows Media Player on the PC desktop. So you can scroll through and pick a movie. Scroll control is pretty easy. And we'll pick a movie to play. And if you want to fast forward in the movie, it's as simple as dragging the slider. It's really sharp and really clear. This is an AVI file that's recorded at about 750 kbps. This can handle most file formats. WMV, AVI, and PEG4 up to 640 by 480 with no conversion at all. You can also play music. It supports MP3, um, WAV files, Windows Media Format files. If you want to play AAC files, you have to pay $20 extra for a plugin that also handles podcasts and H.264 video. So you can list by artist, album title, the usual stuff. It does album art. If you've sync, sync that. You've got playback controls at the bottom and information about the album, the artist, the song title, and duration. There's a photo viewer here. Very fast, filling up the thumbnails. It's also pretty fast viewing the photos. These are sample photos that come preloaded, so they're guaranteed to be gorgeous and sharp. And it's got a slideshow function. What's interesting about this device is it does support USB hosts, so you can actually attach a flash drive or a card reader and copy images from a card, say, from your camera onto the device to view them and save them so you can wipe out the card and take some more pictures. For video, there's also Web TV, which is approximately a thousand online TV stations from across the world. 
This works over Wi-Fi. Obviously, you need an internet connection. This particular Arcos 5 model does not have the 3G HSDPA feature. We'll go to TV News and we'll pick the United States and see if there's anything there for us. The application that handles this tells you where the station is from, uh, gives a reliability rating, and tells you how many kbps, because a lot of these are not very high resolution. So if you're a little picky and you want to pick something that has a high bitrate setting, you can. So this is a Fox 11 News. Streamed over the internet. It's not a very high quality stream on this particular station. It's about 330 kbps. So there you have free web TV. There are a bunch of games. You get to try them all out here. There's about 10 or 15 of them. Solitaire, Scrabble, Basketball Shooting. Take a look at Basketball Demo. Oh yeah. The archives can also record TV if you buy the optional $100 DVR module. This snaps into the DVR and you can control recording either online or right directly here. You can see TV program guide. So here's the TV grid. First you're going to select your location and then who your provider is for cable, satellite, whatever it is that you have. And Then you've got a three-day grid of programming. And you can scroll through that just using your finger. There's a TV scheduler and a list of recordings if you have been recording TV shows. And something called Freeview. This is for you folks overseas. It's an accessory which Arcos offers you an opportunity to buy here if you haven't already bought it. You snap it on the bottom and it does DVB over the air digital broadcast is not supported in the U.S. The Arcos has Opera web browser. It's a fantastic web browser and a very, very good web browsing experience, especially with the 800 by 480 pixel display that beats even the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Works in a similar fashion. You can grab the page and scroll it around. Since this is not a capacitive touch screen, there's no pinch or zoom function. I'm using two fingers. If you want to zoom in, just double tap. Though often text is legible, even in the overview, thanks to the, the five, nearly 5-inch five large display. It's got all the usual browser functions. You can navigate back or forward. You can enter URL using the on-screen keyboard, which we'll take a look at here. It's a very finger-friendly keyboard. Page load times are generally very quick. Arcos' own website is very graphically heavy, and that's still a pretty quick load time for that. The Arcos can also play YouTube, full YouTube, not just the mobile. So you're going to see the desktop YouTube page right here. Pretty cool. And we'll just pick something off of the front page. You can fast forward through the videos. There's music in the air. If you've got a good Wi-Fi connection, the playback is very smooth. There's also an email application that handles POP3 and IMAP4. It's still in beta. Contacts application. There are a variety of widgets that come pre-installed on the device. There's a calculator, currency converter, password store, RSS newsreader, and a notes application. Unit converter. Weather forecasts. And that updates again over Wi-Fi very quickly. 